Hey, so I'm gonna make a new video going over the atlases I'm gonna to use to farm my Henter in the first few days. Of course, we don't really know how much Henter is gonna be. Last league, it was quite expensive at like 160 divines. But yeah, I wanted to share my strategy of what I'm gonna do for the first few days. So of course, first, we want to start off with the Atlas Rush Tree. So this is what I plan to do the whole Atlas with. I want to say there is one difference you can do here, and that is you can rush to and wait for Envision. So there's two ways to think about this right now. Um, a lot of people are just all going on with revision and believe scarabs do not matter at all for Atlas progression. Um, I'm kind of thinking a little bit different. Scarabs might be very, very good for progression. They're going to be really, really common. In the recent interview, a GGG said you'll drop like a couple of scarabs every single map. And if that's true, you're going to get stuff like Cardo scarabs, which would prove to be more valuable than only revision for map progression. Now, of course, no one really knows. Um, I, this is fine to take if you want to take it because if you do want to take it this path up here right so I mean, all you do is path here and there you go you have it so yeah let me show how you kind of uh, progress this atlas chain of course i'll have this link down below as well I'm just make sure i'm still all right so yeah if you want to forget this atlas tree uh this is what you'll do so we'll start from the scratch so i'll go this way and immediately take the soul fight nico nodes packed with energy it just gives you 105% increased damage, 45% movement speed, and 3% max res. This is just insane for early mapping. So much free damage movement speed if on your, you know, character that just came out of maps and came out of campaign. It makes your weak character into a very strong character early on. So I highly recommend this. Then immediately, we are grabbing all these Curic nodes. Now you want to go to the right side here for these 1% uh, chance to get additional Curic missions. It's now buffed to 2%, by the way. It's just not updated. And of course, grab Commissioned Officer. Um, after this, I would immediately rush to these Kyrick nodes, but if you want to grab on Wave of Vision, this is when you would grab it. So if you want to grab this, do it right now. Um, if not, what you can do instead is, yeah, just go to all these Kyrick nodes. These Kyrick nodes are the most valuable thing, because once again, these are about to 2%. So in total, I think you have like 26% chance to uh, spawn Kyrick. Um, which is really, really good. That means one out of four maps, you're getting a bonus map. So yeah. After that, it's be the standard. Just grab all the map connected nodes. So you grab all these. And then you start grabbing your map increased drop chance. And then after you've done all this, you can also grab these three if you want. Yeah, after you've done this, this is when you start grabbing extra lead content. So you start grabbing um, Harbinger as the first one I'll grab. And then you grab Harbinger, make sure you come up this way. Get the next harbinger and then go for king harby very it's very really, really good for map sustain that's why i can highly recommend getting harby you can also grab stuff like boxes uh quarter strong box shrine you know shrine pack size etc until you end up like this so yeah that's how i would progress the atlas early on for russian um it's pretty similar to the old tree. You just are taking notables now because there's no wandering path. And like I said, if you want to grab on Weaver Vision, feel free to do so. It's, you know, I might grab it still. I'm not too sure. If I um, feel like I'm dropping a lot of scares for a map, I'm not going to grab on Weaver Vision. But if I'm dropping like no scares for a map, then yeah, I'm going to rush up here and grab this. So yeah, that's how I would rush the Atlas. Now, of course, after you rush the Atlas, what is my end game farm plan? Well, of course, it is going to be Legion. So Legion, nothing really changes except that we now get packed energy for essentially free and you can get 100% Nico spawn chance. So I grabbed all these small Nico nodes for 8% spawn chance. And yeah, we have 100% spawn chance of Nico and we're gonna have packed energy every single map. Once again, very, very strong. And don't get this uh, confused with Delve. We are not doing Delve whatsoever. We are just using Nico for his bar power in maps. That is it. So yeah. We are grabbing all the Legion nodes, of course, you get 100% Legion spawn chance, actually a little bit extra. So if you use Legion on a map device, and with the Atlas tree, you're guaranteed to spawn two Legions with a small chance at three, and of course with Scarabs, it's even more Legions. So the only other thing important to talk about here is I'm grabbing like two Scarab nodes. Um, not sure how worth they're gonna be, but I thought it'd be worth to test out, especially early on. So this one's really nice, because where monsters on your maps have 50% uh, drop chance, a per monster modifier. Um, obviously, when you're doing Legion, you kill a lot of rares, so maybe this will drop a lot of scarabs. And of course, 
scarabs found your maps are more likely to be less common. So this is gonna be the more rare scarabs. So yeah, I'm just trying this out. Maybe the scarab stuff is just bad, but you know, I thought it'd be worth the points as I do have extra points here. Besides that, we are focusing on um, either Exarchs, I mean, my bad, um, Seared Exarch alters day one and day two. I think with day three or day four is when either Exarch start to become better. But early on, you really, really want to do Seer and Exarch because this raw chaos and chisels really help you self sustain early on. And the uh, chaos allows you to buy some cheap gear early on as well. The problem with uh, Eater, I get this question why don't you do Eater early on? It's because it doesn't really give you anything besides the chance at Divine Altar, which would be very strong, but it's kind of like, you know, really hoping just to get lucky. And uh, that's pretty much it. Like, you don't need the Quant for Legion. Legion doesn't really scale Quant unless you do an MF. So yeah, I would not recommend uh, either alters early on. Yeah, besides that, we are also taking these leak nodes and something to note is that we can also change these. So for, for example, if you want to take this node, this node essentially makes it, you don't have to choose um, what modifiers on your map. And this will just make it really way faster. You can just take this real quick and you're fine. I'm just doing these for now. If I feel like it's too annoying, I'll take this. If not, I won't take it um, because in a new league, before you enter a map, you have to select uh, what modifier goes on what mob. And maybe that's too time consuming, so you would want to take this. But yeah. So that's pretty much it for the Legion tree. And now I do want to mention what scarabs you'll use. Because this um, tree won't have the scarabs imported yet, because it just came out. So what scarabs do you want to use? So it's actually pretty simple. And the Legion scarabs are quite strong. So Legion scarab, the basic one, is at a limit of four. This means you can use, let me zoom in. This means you can use four of these in the Atlas device all at once. Now, of course, we're only gonna be using three. So you can use three additional legions here, one guaranteed from your Atlas, and then one guaranteed on your map crafting, which is right here. So for a total of five legions, you'll have. Now, of course, for the last scarab, you'll want to use one legion scarab of officers. This will spawn five additional uh, sergeants. So this just does five more rares per legion and you're doing five legions. That's 25 additional rares. That's a lot of rares. Um, so yeah, very uh, easy legion set up here and they should be very cheap. The GG did make it sound like scarabs are gonna be way more plentiful, especially the more common ones. And you know, these two should be of the more common ones as they're very basic. One thing to note is some people may ask about this. Uh, legion monsters areas can be broken out stasis multiple times. This is very strong. Um, but I think it's going to more rely on Hunter and specifically, it might be expensive. This could definitely be one of the rarer ones because I mean, yeah, it's really, really strong. So, I mean, if it's cheap though, definitely use it. This is going to be really insane. But I just start, I'm just thinking of these two Legion Scarers because yeah, I think they're going to be very cheap and really accessible for most people. So yeah, definitely make sure you're using Scarabs. So if a uh, Legion Scarab is like four chaos, five chaos each, I want you to know it is a hundred percent worth it. And this one, I'm not really sure what type of price this would be worth that, but it probably is like, I assume like six, eight chaos each. This is gonna be worth it as well, as long as you're using three uh, Legion Scarabs as well. Yeah, just keep that in mind. Even these are like relatively expensive early on, they are gonna be worth it because it's gonna like multiply your value with the Legion Scarab of officers. So yeah, uh, that's pretty much for my Legion Rush. I also do have a separate tree here. Um, and this tree is it's really similar to the first one but it adds Beyond. Now, the reason why you don't want to do Beyond early on is that Beyond mobs are extremely rippy. They are very hard. I do not do this Atlas tree day one because you just get one shot by Beyond mobs. But once you do have some gear, um, I highly recommend to do Beyond because you get 100% natural Beyond chance on your map now. And you do want to spawn the boss. The reason for this is that Beyond currency is worth quite a bit early on. And it's at, you actually get more Beyond currency when you spawn the boss than you don't, when, uh, you don't spawn the boss. So yeah. Do not take Endless Tide because the Beyond Boss is where you're going to get most of your Tainted Fusions from. And early on, they are worth like half a divine. So yeah, like I said, do not use this Atlas early on just because Beyond is extremely rippy. But I will have all three of these Atlas trees linked down in below. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much about it. This is my plan to farm Headhunter in the first few days like I do every league. Of course, I'll be streaming this on Twitch. And I also have my Google Doc that has all my updated Atlas strats and um, builds. So, but yeah, uh, that's pretty much about it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Yeah.